Now, as well as being the GB Performance Director, you obviously train the Unified World Heavyweight Champion, Nancy Joshua, who trains here at EIS. How do you balance those kind of priorities between the, the GB squad and his fights coming up, for example? Yeah, it's quite easy, to be honest with you. And, and similarly before AJ, Carl Frotch had numerous world title sure. fights training here as well. But uh, yeah, we, they're normally at different times in the calendar and also um, AJ and Cole as well would train at different times uh, to where the, the, the team and, and, and the boxers here train. So every now and again they'll mix in on a run and then mix in on a strength session and the odd technical spa but normally you know if the boxers are training up until half five you'll catch AJ in there at half six and he'll be doing his full session in the evening so it normally works perfectly well because they train at different times but at the same time he's a fantastic role model for all of these kids here and, and like, you know like Carl was beforehand if they can see somebody who's been through this program achieved you know, Olympic gold and gone on to unify the world heavyweight titles, it inspires them. You've got to have role models in your program and, and that's certainly what's really helped and certainly the last few years having, having Big Josh as I call him up here has just been fantastic for the team and the boxers and has pushed them on I believe to the next level. Talking of Josh, as a kind of boxing purist yourself, how delighted were you with his performance against Andy Ruiz in the rematch? Yeah, he boxed very intelligently, he stuck to the plan, um, he, you know, he, he put on a really good boxing display, there was no point taking any chances and, and, and you know, looking for the stoppage, because Ruiz is, is world champion at close range, he's fantastic at close range, but I thought Josh worked hard in the training camp, not a second of a doubt about doing the rematch. We agreed the rematch on the Sunday in New York, not even 24 hours after, after the first fight. Um, you can't make excuses. You, win, you lose a fight, you win a fight. Josh didn't make excuses. He just got on with it and he showed what a real champion was about and he won the titles back in Saudi against a very dangerous fighter fairly comfortably. Will the additions to the team that we saw for that fight be replicated for his next one? Do we know yet? Um, yeah, I think... I think with, 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 with Big Josh, he, um, he trains all the time, he, he's, he, he's fanatical about his training, um, with, with a variety of people have, have helped with his coach, he's, well his training over the years, you have to use Padman because he's six foot seven and you know you replicate things and stuff but mainly he's had the same people around him from, from the start to the finish of his journey, well not the finish to where we've got to today so nothing's really changed with him but you have to bear in mind he's six foot six so you know, you can't be holding the pads for him month in, month out, year in, year out. Nobody can. He's, you know, he's, he's very heavy handed and um, you need people that can support the training plan. And next, from what we've been led to believe, is going to be either Usyk or Pulev. Do you have any sort of preference as the trainer? Well, I think, I think Pulev's the next in line, I think. And I think Usyk's um, got plans for another fight and I think that he's fairly new at heavyweight, obviously whether he, you know, by the end of the year that, that that fight's the next one for Big Josh um, is to be seen. But right now I think Pulev's the one that's that's the mandatory immediate and being mooted. So um, let's see what happens, but you know, possibly Pulev and then by the end of the year it will be it'll be a big fight for Big Josh. Pulev a nice challenge for you as a trainer tactically? Um, I think I think all heavyweights are difficult. You know, the, the, anything can happen in heavyweight boxing. You can never forget that. But um, I think Josh boxed well in his last fight. I think he, he's learning all the time. I think I think he showed that he can learn from mistakes and, and put things clearly right. And I think he'll only get better. And um, I think Pulev's a good fight for him at this stage. But you know, Pulev's Pulev's a good fighter, so we can't underestimate him in any way. Just before we leave.